So six picks, busy day, good, really good day, and um, open it up to questions. I guess the one thing you look at this, you guys didn't, did not take an offensive lineman. So what does that tell us? There wasn't one there that would fit. We would love to take an old lineman, but it just draft didn't work out that way. Yeah, I think even in the first round, uh, in, in a year that was very limited, at, especially at the tackle position, uh, a lot of them went early. There was a huge run early. That affected, it, it starts at the top, and then it, it's a trickle down or up, or whatever you call it, effect, and, and that happened. And so they're just, um, they, we weren't going to take one just to take one. You know. And, and you said on Monday that you were open to trading Mike last year would suggest that you were fine with whatever you had last year as a starter, uh, you know, probably Colton McKivitz. So yeah. is this a vote of confidence for Colton McKivitz as well? Uh, very much so. I, you know, we believe in Colton. Uh, you, you know, I'll, I'll let Kyle talk a little bit about Colton as a player, but, uh, you know, Colton, the, the gold helmet is a hard standard up there. We, we give it to very few people. Colton was one of those when he came out of West Virginia. You know, I think when he got here, um, we didn't we didn't necessarily see that all the time because he was shy. He kind of took him a little while, but I, I think over time, as his confidence grew, you started to see all those traits and qualities, um, the spirit, as we call it, really start to show. And then Colton's sneaky talented as well, and um, we like him a lot as a player. Kyle, you can go ahead and talk about him. Uh, yeah, I mean, just getting an old lineman ready to start in this league is really tough, um, especially how different playing in the league is in college and um, the lack of, you know, preparation we get with how OTAs are this year, how much shorter training camp is. But um, you can win with Colton. He's been here for a while. We, when he has played, we have won games with him. Um, did a hell of a job last year helping us, or two years ago, getting into the playoffs when he had to start unexpectedly versus the Rams in 17, I think. Um, but, I mean, I look at Colton very similar to how Jake was last year. I mean, we felt very good about Jake, but you never know until they get out there a ton. Um, and you look in the draft to add depth, and you always want to. If there's someone there that falls in that you think can beat out your starter, um, that's really that's, that's a good pick. But it's not easy to find a guy at pick 99 or later who can beat out Colton McKivitz. Just like um, you don't just find anyone for Jake Brindle last year. Um, so when you have guys who played and you practice with a lot and you have an idea about them, um, I, I get how not everyone else knows about them as much because they haven't seen them. But I mean. We were going to that draft hoping to find depth and hoping to find some competition. But to go into that draft and to think you're going to find someone to start over someone like Colton or as good as Colton can be and has been um, is, would be very unusual. The other thing I'd add, uh, Matt, uh, uh, you know, big shout out to RJ Gillen and his staff. You go get a guy like Matt Pryor who started games and played at a high level last year wasn't as good. Whatever happened in Indy, I think their O line struggled as a whole. They moved him over to the left side. He didn't play as well, but we think Matt Pryor is a guy who's shown that he, he can play. So that gives you, you know, at least whoever we draft better be able to beat him out. And, and we didn't see that happening. And that's the that's the hardest thing too. When you, in order not just to play, you talk about Colton because you know, but Matt Pryor, who we brought him in free agency, who we liked two years ago too. And then you got Jalen Moore, who's been our swing tackle for a couple of years, who's played in games. Um, so it's not only finding someone who can have a chance to compete with a starter, which we feel we brought in some vets to do that. But if they can't compete with a starter, they have to beat out those vets to make the team. And when you look at a draft and you look at O-Lyman and you're sitting there and your first pick's at 99 all the way down, we're not just talking about who can come start at a position. We're talking about who do we think can make the team. And you compare that to every single position. Um, we believe the kicker for sure could. That's probably why it was that, the pick there. Uh, you see the safety, but you know we'd love to get depth at every position, and we can at every position, but we also got a good team that does have some depth, and our first goal is that we hope that these draft picks can make our team, which um, is easy to do.